If you've been sent fair, you're not fit for dating. You're fit for playing. A woman who dating for seriousness is not going to the man's house. Dating is meeting and conversing, not meeting and removing clothes. Okay. What does a woman in a relationship in Nairobi do? Honestly? People ask me why are you not dating us? Like, because nobody is serious about dating anymore. That's why I would prefer hit and run. I would rather, eh? yeah, I would rather just go hit and run somebody's son and go on with life like <laughs> nothing happened. Hey. I don't have attachments. I'm not going to give you my real number. Hello, welcome to Tuka Talks. My name is Lynn Gugi. Now, the issue of sending and eating fear has become a serious topic of discussion in this country. And while many people might make joke of it, it just shows how deeply our relationships have been affected. On this special edition of Tuka Talks, I have two amazing guests. And let me say, highly requested guests to tackle this topic. And so without further ado, please please allow me to let them introduce themselves. Hello, hello. Hi. How are you? Fine, thank you. Eh, mumefika tuko. You bring these two people together at your own risk. At my own risk? <laughs> Last time we met, there was a blast. <laughs> <laughs> what, will, what will happen No, she today? was hosting me. <laughs> <laughs> what is likely to happen and, today? Uh, no, we blast the truth. First uh, of all, okay, I'm Benjamin Zulu. Yes, please go that's, on that's with the introduction. That's uh, my Benjamin Zulu everywhere. If you type Benjamin Zulu, can you find me? Yeah. What you, who are you again? <laughs> wow, wow, Benjamin, I am offended. Anyway, I am Anitare on every single platform. Yes. Anitare, same name everywhere on social media. Uh -huh. very, very good. I wanted us to go to the content. Number, yeah. number one, why are you talking about sending fair? Unatumiwa fair, ukienda wapi? Anakuza kwako. Okay. To do what? Situonane. It's a butter trade. Mm -hmm. The fair is an exchange for sex. Simple. Uh, why are people complaining about fair and the one who is... This is a two-way. Nobody is giving without receiving. Okay. But the, this culture of sending fair is cheap dating. Those who are dating, you know, if you're being sent fair, you're not fit for dating. You're fit for playing. A woman who dating for seriousness is not going to the man's house. Dating is meeting and conversing, not meeting and removing clothes. Okay. You date with your clothes on. It's conversing to see if we are compatible. Uh -huh. If you're coming to have sex, that's a better trade. Simple. <laughs> and again, the thing here I tell a, a woman who's ready to marry <laughs> is meeting you in a hotel. And she can easily invite you to the hotel of her convenience where she doesn't want to spend too much. Mm -hmm. If I'm dating a girl who lives in Akuru and I'm the one after her, please stop inverting these orders. It's the woman who's supposed to be pursued. Yes. So she can set standards. Anita <clears throat> is already is already disagreeing with your sentiments. Uh, Anita Ninini <laughs> Nakuasha. First of all. First of all, when you go to buy a shoe, do you just buy the shoe imagining it a kutoshe, I'm on a buy kitu kiatu, I'm on a fitio kiatu. So you want to tell me I'm going to date you without knowing whether you're good in bed or bad in... Why am I taking that kind of risk? I am not a soldier, I'm not going to go and find out in battle if you're good or not. Hell no. We meet, we date, I get to know all the good and bad in you. So don't tell me about meeting in hotels. So why are you eating fear in the first... Why are you eating fear in the first... Any man who sends fear is stupid enough to kill your fear. Why are you so this is my Kachini, go to Benjamin. You sit down and impress me money to come to your place. Ah baba, me I will order whatever I want and sleep like a child. Muru not too much fear. I'm I support him on that, but the angle is different. Mm -hmm. Why are you let me tell you a woman who wants to see you is gonna take a flight? You should ask women how long they've traveled to see men they like. Bali, and you don't want the fear because you like the person. Mm. Now, this Ngulusumus or this Nairobi, they will have this Kidogo money. I think, let me send you money for a new brother. Tuma, wow. me and Kula fear and sleep like a child and feel nothing. So, Benjamin, why are men sending fear in mm. the first place? Mm. So, the problem of having sex to check if we are compatible is that you'll end up sleeping in a thousand fronts. <laughs> Uh, and if sex is casual to you, your conscience is dead. Aya, say that again. <laughs> if sex is casual to you, something in you is dead. Mm -hmm. You have ceased to see it as a sanctuary as a woman. You have ceased to see it as a garden, the sanctity, the thing that defines your soul. When the Bible talks about sex, it says David went into Bathsheba. When a man sleeps with you, it's not a casual interaction. He has gone into you. How many people have gone into him? And how many emotions can you remember? One day we went to eat meat in Bama, mm -hmm. but we were tricky. We started tasting because they, they are eager to let you test. <laughs> they cut you piece. Mm -hmm. So because we are boys, you're being cheeky. We went tasting, tasting. 
Now, at some point, you forgot which one is tastier. <laughs> because you're tasty, but get used to the meat. Mm -hmm. And the, the sellers get to know you're also not serious. Yes. <laughs> they have seen how you've gone round. Yeah. So, my strong advice is sexual compatibility does not need testing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, I just need to ask whether you are functioning biologically. I can simply do that through the premarital counseling, through a gynecologist. I just yes. need to know that you're functioning. Okay, but the big How question is, know? why are you guys complaining about women eating fair? Who asked you to send As fair I say, in the, the men who are complaining about fair, they themselves are not qualified. Amen. And the ones who are receiving fair are not qualified either to be dating. <laughs> mm -hmm. People who are ready for marriage and serious life, yes. they date on a serious level. Yeah. So these are complaints of, of being too low below. There's a, there's, a, there's a pilot who complained that there are a lot of rats in the airplane and they were disturbing people. Mm -hmm. So he was told to simply increase the altitude and open the windows. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the beings will fall out yes. because of atmospheric pressure. Having the problem, these are problem of rats. We are too far below to complain about fair. The woman I dated, sometimes I was equipped when you were going for dating. I was equipped to pay the fair to pay. But many times I observed she was also ready to finance the traveling. Mm -hmm. She was also ready as well. It's me who insisted, let me pay for your return. Yes. It's me who insisted. Yeah. But it was not a condition because we were meeting to converse, not to have sex. Okay. So let me ask you, Anita, mm. when you receive fair mm -hmm. and you know you are not going to to show up, why are you eating that fair in the because first place? Because you're stupid enough to send it and I keep insisting that. So why receive it? Be you're sending mimi nika mimi mkikuyu you can send your ma hata ukitaka kutuma on a regular listen first of all on a serious note yes i like saying this that makes people very angry every woman sells for something he said it's a trade every woman sells for something mm -hmm. either selling for a marriage you're selling for to keep a man you every woman wants something from a man most of the times yeah and as much as benjamin is gonna insist that uh mm -hmm. you conscience has died you get through so many relationships or heartbreaks, you realize that uh, you don't want to have sex with feelings. Mm -hmm. And that happens a lot. Let's not even lie about it. In Afghamali, you're just doing it for the physical pleasure of it. Mm -hmm. So once this man is hitting on you with that purpose of just sleeping with you, and you know it. Yes. Because the end is not Listen, as I said, if I want to go see a man, I'll go see a man. But you see men rush to tell you what you to me fair. And that's the problem. You see, just tell me you want to see me. Don't tell me you're going to send fear. Yeah. But now a man is going to text you, Sasa, where are you offering? If I want to come see you, I repeat, I will fly to come see you. But I see you're already offering. You've already made it a trade. Yes. So me be like, if I don't want to come, I'm not going to show up. I'm mm -hmm. going to And I'm not going to return that money. Yeah. Yeah. You are just foolish. You have such low esteem as a man. You don't even like yourself enough to think I would come for you. So you're enticing me with money. Baba, Ebu, continue enticing me. Let me ask you, Benjamin. There's a reason why this topic, a lot of people are discussing about Kutuma na Kukula fair. Are we dating the wrong way? Yep. For me, again, this is my philosophy. And as Anita has said, these are different schools of thought. From the school of thought I come from, sex is sacred. The person I opened my zip to, I, I expose my whole soul to her. Many people have tried to have this kind of sex. The person takes photos, records news without your knowing, and they blackmail you with it. If you're building your life in any sense, if you have a future as a man, I tell them, minimize how many people you give the power to ruin you. Samson was ruined by a woman. Those women you open yourself to, you give them so much power to ruin you, and more so if you have more to lose. When you have the one building an empire, have a life, your reputation matters. And in this society, your morality is everything. It's not even your degrees. It's how you're perceived. If you're not well-mannered, they will not receive your content. You will not, you will not move in life. So one of the things I, I encourage men is, instead of talk, dealing with people who, who need to be sent fair, look for people on your league. I, I'm trying to build an empire. I need an empress. A woman who can think large. Now, traveling is such as more money. If you need money for, to travel, who will buy you the shoes you need? Mm -hmm. In fact, I'm not looking for a rich woman, neither is she looking for a rich guy. Mm -hmm. But I'm looking for a responsible person okay. who can organize themselves. Mm -hmm. I need to travel next week. Yes. I have one case set aside <laughs> for traveling. We are set for on Saturday. Where are we meeting? Get a place you can afford. It's not about being with. It's about being organized. Mm -hmm. Another thing, that I don't want you to receive a man's money. You're already in debt indebted to cooperate with some things because you received some things from him. Mm -hmm. I want you to meet on the table when it's completely neutral. Nobody owes another nothing. This way you can say no to anything. You can say yes to what you want. You can pick what you want. Another thing, people want to test how you perform in the bedroom. Bedroom can be learned. However, the size of the man who the genitals are, doesn't matter. The most sensitive the part of a does not no, matter. The, 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 most sensitive, <laughs> the most sensitive parts of a woman's body are only three inches deep. That's scientific. <laughs> Only three inches. So even if it's a three inch, it's okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. 
So <laughs> the, the size is not okay. There are those there are some there's people who are maybe extra or this, and it can, many of them are correctable surgically. Yes. Others are <laughs> disabled sexually. The way people have disability with hands, they can also have disability with genitals. Yes. But I told you when you realize you're going far with a person, always visit professionals. You visit a counselor. You visit a gyna. You can, because you can even sleep together because of the exact med he can perform today. Yeah. But he has an irregular dysfunction that will, when the emotions are go down, it comes back again. Yes. So you can't just know by sleeping together. When you're new to each other, the chemistry is explosive. Uh -huh. Later on, it goes back to normalcy. So, and he had a disability that he couldn't see the first time. Uh -huh. So the, the, the sleeping together is not a thing. He can even insult you that I know you. You're even useless in bed. She can also insult me as a man. Kwenda uko, you are useless. Ni kupea na hata uweza ni hiyo kitabi yako ni bure. So I would rather keep my clothes on, yes. my dignity on. Yes. I, I say dating. The, the, the women I dated are over 50. If I was sampling all of them. <laughs> Who would I be today? Uh -huh. I'll be trying to post my content. Another one shows up. <laughs> another one shows up. Yes. They will ruin me. Yeah. So I tell men, think about you tomorrow before you ruin today. Yeah. Yeah. So and you've dated uh, 50, 50 women. women. I, I, I chatted with this. <laughs> I was starting different women every day. I was searching. Mine was a search. Yes. The ones we met are few, less than 10. But the that, ones we are talking, yes. checking, because I can see that she's single within the age group. I'm talking about, da, 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 we chat a little bit, and we can't. Da, 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 da. Searching is searching like for a car. You visit this bazaar, check the prices, check that. Mm. You take your clothes on and your eyes open. And without it in fear. <laughs> I, didn't send any, I didn't send anybody. You have never sent fear? No, Niger, no even the one I came to marry, never did. I never sent. Ah, yeah. But I was always equipped to, as a matter of courtesy, as a gentleman. Yes. To Kikutana, I'll pay her fare back. Oh. Okay, but it's not at its no, requirement. No. Anita, first things first, does size matter? Hell yeah. Brother, let me tell you something. Let me make this clear like daylight. And let's not pretend as women. If you're bad in bed for a woman, she is going to freaking cheat on you or she's never going to respect you enough. Mm -hmm. Because bedroom does matter. If you cannot make me orgasm as a woman, please also be careful how you raise your voice at me because I think as much as you want to pretend manhood comes from a lot of things, the bedroom is the biggest place for manhood. And happily for you, yes, you can make a woman experience pleasure by using a lot of other things apart from your genitals. Mm. But they don't, and, men and don't want to so, do that. Yeah, so it's a question of learning, not his physique, but learning. learning. We can oh. teach each other. Do so what, what, let so me what ask I'm, you, yes. before you continue, how do you tell a man nicely without breaking his ego because men have a fragile ego? Hi. Maybe to keep a bedroom, Akia Mama, there's something that you're not doing right. And remember, without breaking his ego, how do you tell him? And I, we told you off air, me yes. and my cameraman, Mike, that not all men have brittle egos. Yes. There are many men who are open to learning. Women are not the same, and men are not the same. Mm -hmm. I must learn the woman I meet. Mm -hmm. Then we teach each other in the bedroom. Yeah. That's the same. The same way she teaches me in the kitchen, I teach her on the broad out of mm -hmm. life. We are teaching each other in many yes. aspects of life. Yeah. Listen, let me tell you something. I am not going through this life to come and teach you how to, to, to sleep with me. That's a lie. Where did I learn it from? I so, so you, you see. Yeah, go so on. I was asking this. Sometimes my problem with the men who keep choosing the size of this woman over there, how many women were you sampling from? Part of our conviction comes from thinking we need a particular size. How did you know it? Many times it's about finding the right person who has the right mindset, right character, and they're basically functional, biologically, and then teach each other. Mm -hmm. For me, that is my philosophy. So do you think our women are willing to learn? Or are they just want what's perfect? Who? There's no one who's perfect. That's yes. a myth. Mm -hmm. That's that impossible. Mm. Nobody is perfect. But my problem isn't to be very honest about it. You see, as Benjamin says, only few men are like him. And I'm not playing when I say that. No, we, let's come back to reality. We have so many men who don't want to be told you're bad in bed. Yes. So many men who are going to ask you, how oh, do you know I'm bad in bed? How do you know I'm not good in bed? And let me tell you something. If I'm, I'm sleeping with somebody, I'm sleeping with it for the physical satisfaction. And if anybody like you so much, I still want that satisfaction. And I always say, if there's a problem in the bedroom, there's a problem in that relationship. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, you have to fix that bedroom. Yes. Men don't want to. I asked something, Benjamin, answer me this, then we can level on it. Why is it that a man is going to perform badly in his house, marital house? Akitoka inje, nika na represent Kenya. Nika kuna mashindano. He goes there to outshine. Maka you're like, ah! Is this, you know, when you hear Sifazake, yes. have you ever heard someone talk about your man? You're like, I have a feeling that's not my man. So why? 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 I, I am completely out of uh, picture of where two women will be discussing one man. So I will not comment on that. <laughs> exactly. I don't belong to that world. Let yes. me return to my world. Yes, return to your... <laughs> So, uh, th th this is what I know. Sex to me is not just physical. I cannot, I may not even erect, 
for you if I don't respect you, if you have no you know, emotional connection. I come from the school of thought whereby I know when you sleep together, there's a kind of connection. And the, when you come to the same room again, it will never be neutral after we have slept together. Mm -hmm. There will be a mood, yes, an awkwardness. But yes. if it's intimacy, it's because we are doing life together. Mm. Even the touch, before we go to the genitals, even, even just holding, yes. there will be a lot of rush of chemistry because our connection is deep and soul-like. It's not just physical and genitals. Yes. So in my view, that we, I would rather build a deep relationship with one woman, whom we are doing life together, so that even our holding of hands is chemical. Yes. There is chemistry of holding hands. For me, if we just meet and we are sampling whether we can have sex, I might not even, but I might, I will not rise to the occasion. Yes. I will be wondering what is this? Am I reducing myself to a loaf of bread? The people want me that having casual sex reduces you to a loaf of bread. I'm afraid of being reduced to a cabbage. Hey. Because everybody has seen me. Cabbage. I can't even stand. Uh, and let me warn you. Yes. There's some life you live as a man and you cut your legs. You never rise up. Because mm -hmm. too many women have seen your nakedness. We have seen you on a You have nothing special exactly. to offer. I keep telling men, and, and Anita knows I, I am tough on men because we, we, we keep messing up. There are men who measure their masculinity according to their genitals. And I tell them, if the thing that makes your man is the thing between your legs, donkeys are better than you. Yes. <laughs> the thing that you should make your man is the thing between your ears. How you think, how you treat women, how admirable you And have you known the most, the most men who are admired are also rare to get? Because it's their character that makes them admirable. Oh, yes. A man who is just shooting left, right and center. Yeah. No woman wants him. Yes. Because he could be carrying diseases or anything. Yes. All right? So for me, if you ask me, I say, let's, let's, let's return to the origins. Where is it that sex is supposed to be between two people who have something else going on? Yes. If you just have sex and there's nothing else going on, it be shallow and vain and to leave us feeling empty empty he has talked about the problem with men what's the problem with women according to you uh, what are we doing wrong everything everything what are we doing right to start with uh -huh. what are we doing right the reason we are why me and takulafia and anilale is because i think we got tired that's the problem with women of our generation we got tired of what of being women you see benjamin talks about men a lot we are afraid of addressing women and women in relationships. What does a woman in a relationship in Nairobi do? Honestly? People ask me why are you not dating us? Like, because nobody is serious about dating anymore. That's why I would prefer hit and run. I would rather, ah. yeah, I would rather just go hit and run somebody's son and go on with life like nothing <laughs> happened. Hey. I don't have attachments. I'm not going to give you my real number. I'm going to, and I know Benjamin comes from the school of that where it's sacred. It's no longer sacred for us. We got tired of being intimate, of trying to keep up with these men who think that the only way they can control a woman is money. First of all, that's a problem with yes. our men. This young generation that has quick money. Nikona Pesa, what are you telling me? I'll marry you and sleep with three or other of your friends. What are you going to do about it? Women got tired of being women. Where are women nowadays? Someone asked a very interesting question on Twitter. All these single moms you see, where are your kids when you're going out to party? Where are, where, where are women? In this Nairobi, unless you're dressing up nicely, have a good Instagram, partying every weekend, what are you doing as a woman other than that? And I know we have so many women who are working hard and everything, but the image we create on social media is the image some of our girls take up. As a woman, we got tired of being women. So who made you tired? The men? Of course. Are we putting this on the men? No, let me say, yes. both of us, 50-50. Yeah. We got tired of being good women to men who just want to sleep okay. around. Mm -hmm. You get, of, of, let me tell you something. A woman can only take too much. And Benjamin may agree with me on this. Women love from their heart. So if a woman loves you the first heartbreak, you hurt her again, you hurt that woman is gonna get tired. Mm. And she's gonna be like, you know what? Let's level the ground. And that's our problem. We wanted to level the ground. Don't see where we are as women. Mm, mm. We are not getting into relationships. The cases of single mothers, even as young as 19, as young as we got I don't even think we have women anymore. We just <laughs> competing with men on the same level you know do you think our women have lost faith in uh, our men especially in this nairobi there's even a song about nairobi where if this person is dating this person this person is also dating another person uh, are you responsible for what anita is First talking of all, about i'm a country boy yes born <laughs> blood and marrow <laughs> I, I migrated to the city, yes. but all my roots, <laughs> everything in my culturing is far in Kitui, inside. Mm. <laughs> so yes. I, I was brought up in a conservative society. Mm. And, and that's, my that's my default way of life. One thing I came to learn about when you begin to think, people are hurt me until I changed. You are the one who lost. If unfaithful people believed unfaithful until you also yes. turned frivolous mm. and you left your death. You left your spirituality, you left your rooting. You're the one who loses in the end. Mm. Because they, they were leaving themselves. 
after you learned this is a wrong vibe you just migrate to the people of your vibe mm. and as anita is saying you can be frustrated if you encounter a few people who just want to take away and they don't have reality or depth all good people must encounter bad people in this life but you decide to stay true to yourself i encountered many people who are only out to swindle me or take away what i had yes. but i was determined until i meet the person of my soul family who has character like me, who wants honesty, faithfulness, fidelity, to build a thing, to stay mm -hmm. together, to be true for life. Those are the noble, sublime values I was looking for. Mm -hmm. And being a person of faith, I also pray about it and I believe, I don't want to be scared. One problem I realize is, as a man I can move around and sleep with a woman there, but the secret, to keep it secret is so yes. exhausting. And one of the, the, the one weak point of all fun relationships is the communication. You can't stay that communication. And communication can be seen by another person. So I cannot go to a faithful woman and promise to be true when on the other side, yeah, I'm not being true. Mm -hmm. It will not work. I will lose her. Yes. And I know I lose her. It's, I'm the bigger loser in this. Yes. So one of the things I behave uh, myself is because I'm true to my calling. I wanted to influence people with my ideas. I wanted to build my business. I wanted to advance my generation. I wanted to call them to a better life. Because of that, I am exempted at all from being frivolous and casual. For yes. me, they, in my world, there's no such thing as casual sex. You cannot have sex with no strings attached. The next time you meet that person, you feel something. You feel awkwardness. And as I told you, if you can have sex and forget about it, something yes. in you died. And you are now unable to have true sex because that part of you is smothered dead. by iron. It's dead. Yes. Okay, Anita, what's wrong with Nairobi's dating scene? Why first, are we even first, seeing I need Benjamin to pray for me after this because I think something in me died. <laughs> It's dead. <laughs> like me, there's no awkwardness. Me, I log into the room and I'll be like, you're good, yeah, easy. Like, so when, when when you encounter someone you are intimate with, nothing, you, you don't nothing. feel... Like, like hi, hi, you're good, you're easy, it's been a minute. Yeah, all right. Yeah. That life goes on. I uh, mean, Kwani, we are not related, are we? Uh -huh. You know, Nairobi is the only city where a someone you know is next to someone you know. You know, Nairobi is a one big bedroom. And the one place I can say, not enter of Nairobi, but most of Nairobi, what yes. ruins Nairobi is the party scene. That we always party. Mm. So, and then we lost our, how do I don't even know the name to call it, Benjamin. We lost our sense of direction. How do you know? You know me, I come from a place where if my friend has dated you, I swear in everything it's worth, I will never date you. Now Nairobi lost that. Kwanza, this man, me and no, a guy, they're the group of people. They've dated the same girl. And I asked them the other day, how do you, sit with on the same table because for me it can't work mm. like unajua this is this person's ex but you're dating i mean are you normal what's wrong with people that's mm. a problem mm -hmm. unajua, no yes we don't have first of all we don't mm -hmm. have loyalty there are no genuine friendships in nairobi no genuine friendships nairobi is about clicks money when you lose it you out you're gone so Nairobi is exchanging this clique and then there's this new wave and I'm not against it of our LGBT who have made it normal you can date this girl pass her over to your friend and you're like guy they say Malisafi and the change mm. she's gonna go in circles and then maybe go back to the ex after two like three years you know mm -hmm. it doesn't make sense mm -hmm. Nairobi we lost sense of relationships I keep telling people in Nairobi it's so hard to be in a relationship because every weekend and Thursday the party scene in Nairobi is just chaos you didn't see the picture that was training of someone who saw the wife on a picture at a club. Mm. Do you know how that, I mean, mtu wame kuachewa, tutu wame endosha, go there, mwana kwa picture. Nairobi is just, I don't even know, there's no word yes. to describe it. Yeah. It's just Nairobi. Mm. And we make it worse by encouraging it. We flash lives on Instagram, no genuine friendships, depression, hiding mental health issues. And anyway, we say it's Nairobi. And Anita yes. is describing club life. Let me yes. tell you about church life, because the person oh, of club okay, good. is church. <laughs> There are those of us, the place we meet is church. Mm. Groupings around church, fellowship, and so club is not in our mathematics. And so I'm it not, depends on where you exactly. are meeting these people. You can have a Nairo, another Nairobi life whereby we are meeting around fellowship. Mm -hmm. And you've heard me talk about the clean church girls who still get it wrong in dating mm -hmm. because they stayed out so long, they never knew how to change gears and go to dating. Mm -hmm. And who are associated dressing in a great manner, they're associated with the bad girls mm -hmm. or the club girls, and they did not know that even them, they have seasons of life. That if there should come a time you dress in a manner that says, I'm in season, I'm single, I'm available for talking. Because single guys can't tell who is married, who is taken, when to offend, when to keep quiet, when not to interfere. So one of the things, I've, I, 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 and I, the, Anita has told you what is happening in the chaotic scene there. And I'm not saying those who go there are bad, those who mm. go here are good. Mm. You will find me in a club also occasionally. My friend is having a party, we are there, we are taking some wine, we are getting happy with it. I'm not saying we are divided like that, I'm just describing yes. lifestyles. Yeah. All right? yeah. So one of the things I, 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 I've come to notice is you decide early in life what you want. For me, what I decided as I started out, I say, after I did my mathematics, I would like to have this fun, this other. I would never date for fun. 
I'm going to prepare myself for marriage, go out, look for a wife, and come marry and settle. Mm, mm. I can even omit the word dating altogether <laughs> and still go through life. Mm-hmm. So for me, there are people who call dating as having this casual relationship that is not going anywhere, mm. just for the exchange of what is going on. Mm-hmm. So for me, if you ask me, I'll say, decide what you want in life and decide how to get it and go for it, irrespective of the waves yes. that are going around. Yes. Because for me, I worry, apart from what I told you, the, the social exposure, mm. the, the moral exposure, how will I pray to God when I'm deceiving another? Mm. I cannot, re- and you know, that's, my, that's the center of my being. I cannot imagine an existence where I don't ask God, where I don't ask God, God protect my wife, Kulamenda, protect mm. my mother. I can't live without that. And because of that, it says in Psalm 66 yes. that if I regard the sin in my heart, he will not listen. So I don't want to treasure sin in me. Mm. Sin means exploiting another, deceiving, you know, using and dumping, doing things that God said outrightly. No. Am I perfect? No. But I do, I use the grace he has given me to stay on course. Yes. So there are some things I can't live with. No, not because somebody is watching or not. It will haunt me. Mm. So for me, I want want to organize my life so that I know my life is short. Very soon I'll be wrapping up, <laughs> we'll be signing out of life. Mm-hmm. I want to say I have fought the good fight, I mm. finished the race and I've mm. kept the faith. Mm. I want to say I have influenced my generation yes. in the manner in which God sent me. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Why are our men scared of Valentine's Day? Wamesema ata yo siku ndio wanaenda conference. Hizo siku watakuwa out of Nairobi. When Valentine's are watakuwa around, ndio mtu wanaenda ushagu kuona waza, wazazi. Why do you think our men are scared of Valentine's Day? Because women decide Valentine's Day is a business. Okay. Valentine's Day is usually uh, flowers for sex, flowers for what? Why would you need, I always ask that, why would you need one day to tell someone you love them? I mean, what do you do every day then with them? Why do we have to blow out of proportion one day? Like, make it, it's a business for people. Mm-hmm. I wish we didn't make it a big deal in your a normal day. Yeah. So if someone wants to, they can. But now women have put conditions to it. I want this and this. I want, can you ask that man if he can afford it, first of all? Mm-hmm. Women are so, let me ask, someone made a very bad joke on Twitter. They were like, you don't even have inner wear, but when a man was, asks you what you want for Valentine, I said, are you normal? Mm-hmm. What, what is wrong with you? Mm-hmm. You don't have shoes when a man asks you what you Flowers will be fine in seven days. Yes. Why would you put so much pressure on a man who yeah. doesn't have a job? Mm. It's hard economic times to just buy a card, a doll, and say I love you. And he can do that every single day of your life. I don't get it. I am very, very honest. And I'm, I, I I love hard. I have a very small circle. My friends always say, Anita is going to wake up at 2 a.m. I wake up to pray around 3 a.m. And I'm going to text all of you. And I'm going to be like, you know, I love you, right? Like, mm. even if you don't talk, I actually mm. love you and mm-hmm. I got you. Mm-hmm. You know, I do that a lot. So why do I need one day? Personally, I don't celebrate Valentine's. I don't text people on Valentine's yes. and tell them I love them. Unless it's my daughter because she's going to maybe go with... That's it. I always feel like women have turned this into such a crazy thing. And if, if a man does it because he wants to, then okay. But don't make it a demand at your... Valentine's June mm. ah, that woman should leave you already. Yeah. Well, it's it's one day. I don't get the obsession with it. And people should Google what St. Valentine's did yes. so that they can even get there before you demand these things. Mm-hmm. She said something important. Do you think we've given our men a lot of pressure, especially when it comes to Valentine's Day? I, I think Valentine's is just a revelation of the truth, yes. the nature of the relationship you already had. Mm. If I have my girl and I've already purchased a ticket, I've seen our dinner I can afford and <laughs> we can spend the afternoon with. Uh, for me, there is nothing to go hide, go have a conference that day. So those who are running away is because they, they never had an organized... If you find the right woman, a virtuous woman, who understands the journey in life, there is never a day you need to run away. In mm-hmm. fact, you are happy that you'll be able to spend some time together that afternoon, that day, that Valentine's, in whichever simple way you come. So if you are with a crazy woman, you'll, have to, you'll be so <laughs> craziness. <laughs> but if you get if you get a woman who gets you yes. the journey you are doing together, yes. it will just be another day of joy. And for me, the most important thing is Anita is saying is the days we spend on a normal day, mm-hmm. how we are ordinarily. Mm-hmm. We will never need to prove anything mm. to the world mm-hmm. any other day. I remember some of the I think last year was my first, first Valentine's as married as a married man. And I was just walking around town. I saw the same selling flowers. I check how much I can afford. Can I afford one K? Five and get me this one. And yes. she was very happy. She never even minded the price. Mm. She never bothered to know how much. Mm. Other days I get a single rose flower of 20 shillings. It's a place and they sell it 20, 25. I think I don't, the fact that you thought to bring it, that's all matters. That's her. all that matters. So for me, I want to ask men, get the right woman and you lead a right life. Yes. You never need to perform circus. Mm. If you find that you're performing circus, and also to reverse it, if your man forgets you completely on your anniversaries, on your birthdays, on Valentine's, where is his mind? Mm-hmm. Perhaps, perhaps he's not proper to have any woman. He's not so if man. a man forgets those days, he's not your man. You're, you don't have a man. Amen. 
<laughs> and it's not your calling to be mm. with him. He's yes. not your son. Yes. Mm. All right. The only the only man who you are supposed to support through life is your son. Amen. <laughs> that one Preach. is your help. Even when he grows adult, you encourage him, but mm. you can't. A mother can't take her eyes away completely from the son. Yes. So occasionally he'll support. <laughs> so mm. my son, are you okay? Yes. <laughs> yes. Kidogo <laughs> Yes. Even when he's grown. Yes. Yes. So that is that is the only person you can be. And even then, even when he grows up, you push him to stand on his own feet. Yeah, yeah. You still don't carry him. Yes. But okay, you can't remove him from your prayers, from your concern. But mm -hmm. husband, another guy. This is mutual. M romantic relationship is reciprocity. Mm -hmm. Give, I give. This we came here to support each other, lift each other. We are genuine, we are loyal, but hey, mm. you must do your best. Yes. So if you forget a woman, a man, we have that weakness. We, we, we worry about projects more than the days and ceremonies. So for us, we have to learn it. I even forget my own birthday. Somebody come reminds me, happy birthday. Oh, okay. Now one GB. Now I'm not going to one GB. So yes. it's true, we are not wired like that. Yeah. We are not relational, we are project oriented, career occupational yes. oriented. Yeah. So I have to learn as a, as a man. I have to mm. put permanent reminders yes. for the next 20 years. Mm. <laughs> 24 <of> February. Yeah. <laughs> Mind this, this. So yes. I, I asked me to do all you need to remember the important days of your woman. The anniversaries and her birthdays and Valentine's. So you don't have to go out of your way and break your back. But Simply invest in thought. Yes. Think about it and see what is appropriate to mm. do. And even if it's a good crafted message, genuinely felt, she will feel it. She'll feel it. And you don't have to do it. Sometimes the 14th yes. of February, you're not around. You do it previously. When you calculated that something will have mm. changed to, mm. you know, oh, do it. Even yes. the birthday, we, we take the birthday week, not the day. Yeah. Because the day can be midweek and we are at work. I take the weekend after or the weekend before. Mm -hmm. She will appreciate it all the same. It's the attention. It's, it's the, the thought. Care, it's the thought. Counts. It's the love. It's, yeah. the, it's the fact that I'm in your heart. That's what a woman wants. I love. No, lovely. I know. Uh, I feel like he's preaching, and I'm just like. You can add. And you, you can. See, you can top it up. Saying, I was yes. telling my friend. You see, funny enough, see the way I'm not married. People come to me for marital advice because me, I'm sensible. And I like, I always tell people I'm standing in the middle because I don't know your relationship. And I always tell people advising someone is very hard. You know your relationship is between two people. And the other day I told my friend, if ever a man puts you in a position to fight, you should leave that man because that's not your man. A man who loves you will never put you in a position to fight for him. That's your man. A man protects you with his soul. Even men, when they go wrong, they still protect you. That's why a man will die trying to hide his cheating, you know, because maybe he made one mistake and he's going to spend the rest of his life trying to cover up for that one mm -hmm. mistake. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, I keep telling women, you see, women, we are emotional creatures. About forgetting birthdays, I, keep, I am big on birthdays. You have no idea. And I keep telling people, if a man forgets your birthday for me, it's a deal breaker. I don't think I'll ever recover. <laughs> I'll be like, why would you forget my birthday? I mean, yeah. you can forget anything else. Like but the day we met, birthday. my birthday is a no goes. So. Yeah. But you see, for Valentine's and these other days, you have to understand. And also, women need to learn how to understand men. Men speak in silence. Men speak in actions. But now a woman, women are, life is weird. We spend our entire lives trying to force men to talk to us. <laughs> Instead of just listening to them when they are not talking, you know, silence it speaks a lot. Silence is loud, it should yes. be heard. Yeah. And men spend their entire lives trying to have us not talking. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, a, it's a very difficult trade, it's, it's, it's crazy. But once you learn around that men also want to be listened to, ask him. I was asking someone on Instagram yesterday, a man comes home, he's tired, and the first thing when he enters the house, the wife is like, I'm at the girlfriend. Excuse me, I'm not going to very mm. early in dating. Mm. Sasa, akuna skari, akuna hii, haujarikuja na hot and sweet nini. You've not asked that man how he was, how his day was. A man is fighting society every day out there. A man is trying to be man enough for society, man enough for you, man enough for your family. Don't become a battle he has to fight when he gets home. Mm. Be his peace. Be his peace. If you can't be his peace, a boom watcher, leave him to the streets. Mm. Right? Just give him peace. Don't live with a man before you get the contract of marriage. You'll have sold yourself short. He can easily decide you're not the best simply because you started playing wife and you showed him the reality of life and he thinks the girls out there are sweeter because you're putting him on responsibilities yes the responsibilities are making you look less appealing you became a wife while you are still exactly. a girlfriend, girlfriend yes. yes make sure you find the security mm. before you mm. enter that because the role yes. of a wife is not always colorful you're not always dressed up <laughs> you're not always makeup you know sometimes it's real life you're dealing with bills have to be paid things mm. have to be done mm. da, 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 da. don't come into that marketplace of being a wife before the contract of being a wife mm -hmm. all right yes. another thing is don't sleep with a person whom you you hope to marry or whom you're trying to marry because you'll have shown them that you can sleep with anyone and they'll never trust you all right sometimes our women are insecure about us we as men because the, we showed them what we are capable of 
all right? When you intend long term with a woman, behave. Even if you are normally not behave, show her that you can control yourself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Demonstrate mm -hmm. that <laughs> you can have her there yes. and you're not longing <laughs> to undress her. Yes. All right? Mm -hmm. That is how she will leave you to work. If I had shown my wife that I sleep with them, she would never even believe that I'm here with Anita and Lynn and uh, we are not. She would Doing suspect anything. everything. Yes. So I had to demonstrate my self-control. So I want to in remind men in leadership, in whatever you're trying to achieve, and I'm talking to men who have a dream to build. I'm not talking about these fools who are sleeping around like gods. Those are just <laughs> existential <laughs> trying to shoot them, do whatever they're doing. They are not my audience. I have nothing to tell them. Yes. They should not come to my show. I don't yes. want to talk to them. Yes. I'm talking to a guy who's telling me I have a calling to be a lawyer man. I have a calling to be a doctor man. I have this. If you have a goal, you're the one I'm talking to. Mm. Your character is indispensable. You must have self-control. You must have commitment. You must have a woman must say, I can trust that guy. Yes. I know he'll come back. Mm -hmm. I can go to London on business, I was speaking now, and my wife can sleep in peace because I'll come back without doing yes. funny things. Yes. And she'll be sure not bring her HIV mm. in the house. Yes. She'll, not, she'll be sure when I die, other yes. babies will not pop up from the crowd. Yeah. <laughs> Looking like me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> the women who, All right. they're not even given time yes. to grieve. Yes. <laughs> things are done weirdly. Yes. Come and in a funeral. Yes. <laughs> You know, <laughs> and you look at the child, actually, they look like your own child. Yeah. <laughs> you can't even argue. They have your eyes. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, character yes. is indispensable if you're building anything. Yes. I want to ask men, don't negotiate about it, man. Don't, even my mic, they get behind the cameras. Yeah. There is no negotiation about it. Self-control is a must. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's, a it's, must. A, it's a must. Like, it's a must. Yes. Like, it's a must. Yes. It's a must. <laughs> it's a must. It's a must. It's a Whenever must. you sleep with a woman, you are the loser. Yes. Sometimes she's below and you are up. But in fact, she's in control of the dynamics. She knows you now. She can expose you now. She can take a photo. Hey, I'm you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I want to. I want to. <laughs> She can decide you are useless <laughs> and you can't prove it. She will say one minute, Vela. And how will you disprove that? How will you disprove that? Even if you are one hour and she said, I want to I wanna, I wanna conclude because I'm sure we'll have you guys for yes. more uh, topics. Uh, I know we cannot exhaust what we are talking about right now. Mm -hmm. So uh, what do you want the women watching you to take home from this conversation? First of all, women are also bad in bed. Never forget that. You're all out here acting like you're good in bed. Women are also bad in bed. Let's not always crucify our men. Yes. And I keep saying, a woman who says that man was bad in bed, you slept with him. Shame on you. Shame on you for sleeping with a man who's bad in bed. Mm -hmm. First of all, women, you need to find yourself before you ever find a man. And it's taken me so many years for me to understand that. An ex-husband, a baby daddy, for me to understand, I was just looking for the wrong reasons. I was looking for the wrong things. Then when I got into this year, I told people I don't want to date. Not even casually. I don't want anybody in my life. And they're like, that's a weird stand. I was like, um, I want to learn my space enough. Yes. I want to understand who I am without a man. We let relationships define us. If you're not Mrs. So-and-so, if you're not dating so-and-so, who mm -hmm. are you as a mm -hmm. person? And you see, we don't have that, most of us. We don't have self-love. We just have needs, and you're scared of being alone. In this course, in Nairobi, you're like, Kai, what do you want to do? And you say, you know, you're going back on social media, you know, you know. And, and we fear that a lot. Mm. If you if you get comfortable in your own skin, yes. if you get comfortable being alone, you will not find a wrong person. And one thing I've learned, you don't look for love. It finds you somewhere along the way. And funny enough, around last year, June, is when uh, I opened a Bible teacher, Yatemo, bought me. Mm. And I opened that Bible. I think I'm halfway through reading the whole Bible. Mm. And it's opened my eyes a lot. I like taking time alone now. I meditate in the morning when I wake up. And I remind myself, you can affirm yourself. As a woman, you don't need affirmation from a man. E society too. You have to post a picture to feel good. And you have to put a million filters for someone else to come and tell you, you look good. Mm -hmm. That's the only way you feel confident. Yes. If someone says you look bad, you change that outfit. You don't need that. As a woman, love yourself enough. Affirm yourself enough to leave the house in sweatpants and go feeling looking nice. Mm. Because at the end of the day, as uh, Benjamin said, most of these men out here, they're just trying to prove their men by sleeping around with as many women as possible. Mm -hmm. So the likes you get on your picture are not necessarily because you're a nice person. It's because you put your body out there. You put so your you body need to understand there. that in a generation of not understanding what relationships are, in a generation of not listening to people like Benjamin because you feel he's against you, mm. nobody's fighting with you. We don't even know you personally. We're just trying to make you a better version of yourself. Learn how to listen. It goes a long way. It goes a long way. Yeah. Yes, what would be your parting shot to our audience? Your biggest enemies are not your haters. It's your own self. 
your lack of commitment, your lack of resolve, your mental flimsiness, the way you keep being flighty, never stay on a course. You make New Year wishes, but they're New Year resolutions, but they're just vague wishes, which mm -hmm. you don't intend to live up to. Mm -hmm. I want to ask you, forget New Year, talk about your birthday. When you mm -hmm. turn a year older, do a countdown. I'm that five. I hope to be strong until I'm 70. Now mm -hmm. I'm that four to go. That three, that two. And a sense of urgency will come to your head that you don't have eternity. So as you listen to these talks, always yes. have a take home of what will improve your day-to-day -day life. It's not about the laughter or the excitement, although that is part of it, but it's what you retain mm -hmm. to practice day-to-day. -day. Yes. Thank you so much. Okay, and now finally, where can people find Benjamin you? Zulu KE everywhere. Yes. We have any contact details? Okay, 0701 Yes, Anita? Mm -hmm. uh, you can find me on Anita Ray on every single platform, yes. and I have a foundation I run, so you can find me on 0710 yeah. 375 399. You can always text me. All right. Yes. I know you are busy people. Asante Nisana for joining me on Thank today's so uh, episode of Tuko Talks. Uh, my people, I hope you enjoyed uh, this conversation and as Benjamin said, it's not about the laughter and the excitement. What is your take home? Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Lynn Gugi. Till next time, bye-bye.